if you drink a glass of ordinary mercury, the maximum that can happen is you might get a severely upset stomach and diarrhea. But if the mercury is finely fragmented, you will die in pain. When ingested, tiny droplets form hazardous soluble salts. Your body temperature rises to 40 degrees Celsius. You begin to shiver, and your chest and stomach start ripping apart from pain. Also, don't forget to add extreme salivation, vomiting, and diarrhea to the mix. No one has ever reached such a mass. 2,000 kilograms would simply destroy your body. Fat would compress your organs and veins. You would begin to suffocate. Your strongest bones, which are four times stronger than concrete, would break if you tried to stand on your feet. At this way, you can live for just a few seconds until the fat completely strangles you. Okay, who let the frog in? One gram of Philobate's Terribilis venom can kill a whole city worth of people. Should a small animal step on the trail of this frog, the toxin will kill him instantly. Even if you get a small drop of the poison on your skin, boom, you're dead. The frog will pass out 30 seconds after getting into the stomach, and 10 minutes of painful death will be waiting for you. And an antidote for this poison doesn't exist, so you can stop looking. And if a scorpion's poison is added to the philobate's poison, its strength will increase by 12 times. Any last wishes? Do you want the viewers to subscribe and leave a like? Well done, you've inhaled exactly 2.5 grams of mercury. You can find as much in two mercury thermometers if you breathe in their evaporated mercury when you inhale, just like you did right now. Or if you fill a small room with thermometers and trample them thoroughly, it will take you around one hour and 250,000 thermometers to breathe in the same dose of mercury and die. Blinking has another function. It shares the information you receive and renews your attention. This means that the more interesting stuff you see is, the less you want to blink. Try to distract yourself with something calming. Yes, I think a good old black and white movie will do. There are three types of tears, reflex, emotional, and basal. Because your eyes are dry, the tear glands are trying to make up for the lack of moisture. But the movie isn't bad either. Oh no. Who knew the film would have a nuclear explosion in it? Arnold, how do you feel? The surface of our skin is home to a huge number of bacteria that form what's called the microbiome. It's understood that if you avoid using soap over an extended period of time, your microbiome balance will naturally stabilize. However, if you don't wash for even three days, you'll start to itch. Don't worry. Go get some air. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you yeah, calling an ambulance? Yeah. Ah, you decided to recharge hey. your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Ah. Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. 
actors, in order to get as close to a role as possible, often have to gain or lose weight in a very short period of time. Add in lots of snacks, Arnold, like dried fruits, nuts, and peanut butter sandwiches. And don't forget about desserts. Arnold, it looks like gaining weight is your secret talent. You're really good at this. Well, soon you'll be ready to play the lead role. You're gonna be a star! So that's why they needed an actor with such a tremendous weight? And here he is, our hero of the day. A strong blow to the head has woken up Jacob again, Arnie's other personality. Or in scientific terms, his alter ego. It's called Dissociative Identity Disorder. With this disease, power over the body of the patient is completely captured by another personality. The cause of the disorder may be trauma during childhood. The child blocks off memories of bad events and starts to consider himself someone else. Fluid is absorbed into the kidneys, then descends through the ureter into the bladder. You're probably feeling a bit stressed, Arno, because now you got to hold the pee in with your muscles. I recommend you don't laugh, Arnold, or sneeze, or cough. Anything like that weakens the muscles, and you might start leaking. People can be in a coma from a few days to a dozen years. Edward Obara fell into a coma at the age of 16 and spent 42 years this way. According to patients, during a coma, they feel like some kind of matter. They wandered along long and damp corridors, mazes, went through complex mechanisms. So eat, my dear Arnold, eat! And soon you'll end up with the IQ of a caveman or fashion model, which, meh, they're roughly the same. That's right, Arnold, perfect time to get away. After all, now automatic weapons can't hurt you. In fact, you can't be strangled, and even getting hit by a car won't hurt you. But your strength, Arnie, you little whip, that hasn't changed a bit. But instead, as I can see, now you've got nerves of steel. It's not so bad, Arnie. Breathe your fart! Reaction with hydrogen sulfide can prevent mitochondrial cell damage. That makes it possible to prevent the development of diseases such as arthritis, heart disease, and even stroke. So breathe deeply, Arnold. It's actually healthy. That sucks. The chance of being attacked by a stinky skunk is about 10 times higher than winning the grand prize in the lottery. Arnie, old buddy, old pal, you're in luck. Doctors have managed to improve your sense of smell by transplanting onto you a dog's nose. Of course, you need to get used to it first. But hey, now you don't even need to use a filter in Snapchat. Stop yelling already! Screaming increases panic, heart, and accordingly the amount of air you use. And you have a maximum of two hours of breathing in your coffin until you run out of oxygen. You redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell membrane, ion channels. Ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. 